thank you very much. And I'm <clears throat> All right, everybody, thank you very much and uh, for your patience. I'm running a little bit behind and I've got to go to dinner tonight and I've got to leave uh, at about 20 after. I've got a uh, Senator Chad McMahon, uh, which is a state senator. I've got to go to dinner with him tonight. So anyway, it's just one thing after another. This, this coming weekend, I would like to invite you to a free seminar. Uh, I'm going to be speaking for uh, uh, four hours this Saturday at ErgoFlex Technology. And uh, Linda, if you could, if you could put the uh, your the phone number or contact information for this seminar, I believe we already have 23 doctors signed up for it. I will be speaking for at least four hours. I'm going to be crushing your brain with neurology, and I'm going to be taking where you think you are as a chiropractor, and I'm going to stratospherically just blow that to smithereens. Uh, this afternoon, I closed over $30,000 case fees uh, with two patients. And again, it's, uh, hell, that's more than most chiropractors make in a month. And I did that this afternoon with two patients. So, you know, if you're, if you want to learn how to do this and change chiropractic and change your profession and change your bank account, uh, the best way to do that is to get to ErgoFlex technology this weekend and let me get, uh, you know, crush your brain for four hours and just totally change your paradigm with healthcare, chiropractic, and your bank account. So tonight we're going to be uh, just talking about the nine nerve fibers. Almost every patient that comes into my clinic, I'm talking about this, this, this nine nerve fibers. And Randall, if you could, if you could put on the chat box uh, how they can contact you to get this, this, uh, these nine nerve fibers right here. So uh, the we have 31 nerves on the right, 31 nerves on the left, yada, yada, yada. The patients don't know that. Doctors do. Patients don't know that. And I tell patients that they've got numbness or tingling in their hands that we're going to take one of those nerve fibers from your neck or if they've got problems in the back, we take this one nerve fiber. And I go, what we're going to test today is this is what makes makes it so insane as a chiropractor. You know, if you're banging bones, this is how ridiculous what you're about to do is. Or if you're a medical doctor on here, because I train medical doctors, PhDs, chiropractors, physical therapists, uh, anybody that just wants to improve their life, I'm here, uh, their patient's lives, I'm here to train them. I mean, again, I'm wait, I'm sick and tired of waiting on weak-ass chiropractors to come to my seminar saying, oh, people won't pay that or whatever. And I'm like, dude, I'm doing this in Mississippi. So I'm just tired of weak-ass chiropractors talking shit and, and not wanting to be a doctor. Uh, they want to be a technician. So I've just said, screw it. I'm training medical doctors, PhDs, chiropractors. Whoever wants to learn this, I'm going to teach them. So, and so uh, in this nerve fiber when you actually treat somebody with pain, I'm going to show you how ridiculous that are, that is if you're just banging bones, all right, which is what 99% of the chiropractic profession does, all right. Now, right here, we have two of the nine nerve fibers, and two of these nerve fibers, one of them is, is C fibers, and the other one is A delta. We know that C fibers are our slower pain and the chronic pain, L delta, A delta is our sharp myelinated pain. And I drew out these pathways maybe two weeks ago, but we discovered that uh, when I was drawing out those pathways that this C fiber, what it actually does, uh, it's not only has to do with chronic pain, uh, hot and mechanical pain, but it's actually stimulated uh, chemically. And substance P is a big one. Uh, inflammation is a big one. So any type of inflammatory cytokines or substance P can actually trigger this C fiber and, and cause perpetual pain or wind up. So, uh, and so whenever you're just treating the pain, what you're doing is you're only treating two of these nine nerve fibers. <clears throat> and let's just get for real. I mean, hell, I've been training doctors for since 2008 and most chiropractors don't even freaking do an, an exam on a patient. They just go in and listen to the patient talk, yada, 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 and the, and the doctor thinking, I wish they'd shut the hell up so I can go over there and bang some bones and, and just admit it. That's the 99% of our profession. And when you wonder why, you know, we don't have any respect uh, because we're charging $35 to visit or $45 to visit or $75 or whatever the going rate is right now. Uh, and, you, you, you know, no matter what the patient says, you know, you're going to bang the bones, you know, you're going to do the flying seven and send them home. And every time I have a patient that comes into my clinic, I always ask them to send another chiropractor, did they do this exam? Nope. What'd they do? Like I told them what was wrong with me, laid me on my belly and just started pounding on me. And then, uh, and did they do an exam? Nope. They didn't do it. Did they take x-rays? Nope. 
you know, so again, it's, this is the shit I'm dealing with in my profession. I'm trying to raise our profession up and God knows I've been trying hard. And it's like the crab in the bucket syndrome. It's like you get one trying to climb out and everybody else pulls them back down. So back to this. So when you're banging bones and you're worried about the pain, all you're really doing is you're just treating these two nerve fibers. All right. Now we're going to test these two nerve fibers also with pinwheel. Okay. So if somebody tells you that they have pain, we know that these are somehow unabated or they're being actually stimulated, causing pain. They go, ow, I hurt right here. Now, two of these nerve fibers right here are controlled by our uh, autonomics, autonomic nervous system, okay? And this is going to be our B and C fibers. Now, we're going to test this with our hands and our feet with one of these pieces of equipment right here. This, when I bought it years ago, it was like 20 bucks. So we're going to take the temperature of the face. We're going to take the temperature of the hands. And when we do the surface temperature, we should only be two degrees off between our hands and our feet. And uh, I'm sorry, our face and our hands and our face and our feet. Now, this is a numeric uh, where you, it just shows a number. If you know anything about neurology, the left brain loves numbers. Okay, wow, man, I'm, I'm 12 degrees off from my hand, my head to my feet or my uh, head to my hands. Now, people that have uh, increased right brain or right brain dominant, they're going to see all these colors on here and red is optimal. And when we start to lose blood flow, uh, we're going to we're going to turn from red, yellow, green to, to blue. Okay, and I saw this little flickering light back here, and I just wanted to say on the Barlow Brain and Body Institute, it hasn't been updated yet, but next month, I'm actually giving a uh, Parkinson's uh, seminar in my clinic, and this is going to be a two-day seminar. It's Friday and Saturday. It will be held in my clinic, and I'm actually going to be doing a Alzheimer's uh, uh, dementia and Parkinson's workshop out in the community on that Saturday. So if you want to know how we're crushing it in Tupelo, Mississippi, then you need to get your weak ass down here and learn this shit. Okay. And, and so if you want to learn how to take our profession to the next level and stop banging on bones and actually start treating patients from a neurometabolic standpoint, and you want to get into this game called functional neurology and functional medicine, Tupelo, Mississippi is the place to hang out, okay? Uh, that seminar, you can go on the Barlow Brain and Body Institute. You can register. It will be in October. It's going to be Friday and Saturday. We're going to be banging out the basal ganglion. We're going to be banging out movement disorders. You already have patients coming into your clinic right now that has these problems. And these programs start at $18,961 when somebody has Parkinson's and they go all the way up to $26,961. So if those numbers interest you and you literally want to know how to help people with this problem because medicine has no friggin' answer, okay, and you want to treat a patient neurologically and metabolically and literally change their life, you need to be your ads in Tupelo, Mississippi in October. Okay, look it up online. And if you want to see how I bring my A game at an outside workshop, this is it. Okay, all right. Back to this, we got two fibers that are A delta and C pain. We've got two fibers that are controlled by our autonomic nervous system. And, and this is gonna control the diameter of your blood vessels. All the healing is in the blood. Everything you need to heal your body is gonna be in these two vessels right here. Now, what's happened is, is when we do these tests, you have to understand that the body is an outward expression of how well your brain is functioning. Your, uh, hypothalamus actually controls the autonomic system ipsilateral, right and left, okay? Now we know from a motor and sensory standpoint, the right brain controls the left side of the body, but when it comes to the autonomic nervous system, it's an ipsilateral pathway, okay? So when we have cold hands and cold feet, if you actually know what the blood supply in the brain is, it's gonna be the anterior cerebral artery that runs right down the mohawk that controls your lower extremities. Guess what? If you got cold hands and cold feet, the anterior cerebral artery is not also able to shunt blood into that area of your brain. If you have, I said that was cold feet. Now, if you have cold hands on the lateral side, this is why you have to know where the homunculus is, the lateral side of the brain, this is where our hands and face and upper extremities are. So if we are having cold hands, then we're the part of the brain that shunts blood into the brain and the, for the homuncular map for the hands and feet, they aren't getting out blood there either. So the, this, when we test the hands and the feet, it's not just about testing the hands and the feet, cold hands, cold feet equal cold brain. We're not getting adequate blood supply to the brain. Also, we have four of these, okay? Four of these, which control motor function. So let me explain these. 
And I know muscle spindles, yes, muscle spindles are sensory, okay? But on the end of the muscle spindle, we have what are called gamma motor neurons. It maintains the tension of the nerves and how or the muscle spindles and how tight it is. So when it's when it's required to do a function, can it withstand the, the energy of that or the, or the strength of that? I actually covered this last weekend at Neuro Reconnect, lower extremities for low back, hip, and foot. And I called it, I called every one of you out and I said, there's not gonna be one of you that's on this website that's gonna come and learn how to get results with knee pain in one visit and charge $4,950. And I called it and not one person on this webinar tonight was or last week actually came to that seminar. And I guess I'm just thinking outside the box. And I was like, man, if I was banging bones at $75 a visit and somebody showed me, here's how you can go to one seminar and spend two days and learn how to fix somebody with a knee problem and get results and not fix them in one visit, but get results in one visit and charge $4,950. I just don't get that. I don't know why people don't do that. But anyway, I don't have to know how to do that. I'm already doing it. So, so we got muscle spindles at the end of the muscle spindles. We have the gamma motor neurons and the gamma motor neurons here control the, 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 the tension of the uh, muscle spindles. We also have the Golgi tendon organs and then we have the alpha motor neurons. So when we're dealing with Golgi tendon organs and, and muscle spindles, yes, some people might argue, well, that's more sensory, but the muscle spindles do have a gamma motor neuron on the end for um, the polar ends. So anyway, we have gamma motor neurons, which control the intrabusal muscle fibers, alpha motor neurons that actually move the extrabusal muscle fibers, sensory components, mo muscle spindles, Golgi tendon organs, and then we have one for light touch, parasite, uh, par uh, light touch, uh, uh, two point discrimination, vibration, and uh, uh, drag. So I'd like to know how many of you actually do graphesthesia in your clinic and actually can tell somebody that if, if this, if you miss this test, it's gonna take 12 months to optimize your recovery. And I'm gonna go with, hell no, you're not, you know, don't do graphesthesia because you don't have the kahunas to tell somebody when they miss it, what is actually going on. All right, so let's talk about this just a second. All right, so how do we test the the uh, four muscle fibers? One of the easiest ways to do it is a, is a, is a patellar reflex, Achilles, C5, C6, C7. This afternoon, I had a lady come in, hit the patella, boom. All right, now listen to this. This is how a functional neurologist truly puts this whole picture together. This woman comes into my clinic, okay, because we ain't banging bones and we market to actual neurological to real freaking patients, okay? She comes in with depression, anxiety, uh, insomnia, and gut problems. And she goes, I get dizzy. And then when I'm in a crowd, I get nauseated and it's almost like I want to pass out. Well, see, if you actually listen to the person and instead of going, man, I wish you would quit nagging over here so I could bang bones and do the flying seven and send her home and get my $35. Okay, and you actually listen to the patient and she's telling you this, you know that she has a cerebellar problem. Okay, and the, the cerebellum is presynaptic to the brainstem. And what's in the brainstem? You have the raphe nucleus, which produces serotonin and you have the mesencephalon, which produces dopamine. The woman came in with dizziness. Uh, when she gets in the crowd, she almost faints depression, anxiety, insomnia, and gut problems, okay? And then, so, and then when I, I tell her that we've got a cerebellar problem that's presynaptic, it means it communicates with those areas of the brainstem and you're not able to make dopamine and serotonin, that's because of the, that's why you're having depression, anxiety, and insomnia. And when I get to the pendular swing and hit the patella, and I hit the patella, and this patella just does this right here. I know this is my elbow, but it just, just swings back and forth. And I go, wow, that's, that's a, called a pendular swing in neurology. And that means your cerebellum is messed up. You know, I already told you that your cerebellum is presynaptic to all these areas in your ponds. And that's why you're not producing serotonin and dopamine. This is why anxiety, attention, focus, attention, concentration, uh, you can't sleep at night. And then we do finger to nose, okay? And I say, I'm gonna touch one of your fingers and I want you to put that finger on your nose. I touch your little finger and she does this, okay, here. And then I touch her little finger on this side and she does this with a ring. Now she didn't move her head like that, but I'm just letting you know. Okay. And I'm like, geez, you couldn't have nailed this Barlow if you had even tried not to. Okay. It's like right there in your freaking face. Bam. Okay. 
because I actually know functional neurology and functional metabolic care, and I ain't just banging on bones. Matter of fact, I don't bang on bones, okay, because I actually listen to patients and I put the clinical neurological picture together, okay? The problem with most of you is you don't know the rules, and if you don't know the rules, you cannot play the game. I mean, just like last night, there's Sunday, uh, Monday night football. If you don't know the rules of football, you're probably not going to win. And if you don't know the rules to function neurology, the, you, the lowest common denominator is we're just going to bang bones. Okay, let's just do the flying seven. Okay, and, and I mean, it's so ridiculous. I mean, we have to move on from this from a chiropractic standpoint, and I'm giving you the opportunity to do this. I don't do many free seminars a year. Matter of fact, I believe this is the first one that I've actually done. And Ergoplex asked me to come out because they're giving a secret seminar on how to be a million dollar a year practice, which I think is ridiculous. I mean, if you're not banging a million, I mean, what are you doing? All right, all right, so. And so my point is I'm giving a free seminar and oh my God, here comes all the excuses. I got this and this and this to do next week. I don't give a shit, okay? Because the same person making an excuse this week is the same one that made an excuse last week and it's gonna be the same person that makes an excuse next month as to why they're not coming to my seminars. I'm here to do one thing, and that, or actually three things, but it all has to boil down to, to one thing. And that is to make you a better person, make you a better clinician, increase your bank account and work less. And that's it. Okay. So I hope you got something tonight. I would open up for questions, but Josh is the only one that ever asked any question. Nobody else ever does. And so I'm going to challenge you, you know, to go, hey, I want to be more like Barlow and I want to close 30 over $30,000 in an afternoon. So I'm giving you an opportunity to come to a free seminar, take advantage of that. Linda, I hope you put this on the chat and let me put a look over here to the side. Yes, you did. Thank you. You're beautiful. I love you. And thank you so much for doing that. And then uh, Shelly, thank you for, well, I, uh, Shelly's been to more seminars than I have for brain-based, uh, Barlow Brain and Body. But uh, anyway, if you, that's a joke. My jokes are terrible, but Shelly, thank you so much for putting that up there. I'm here to change your life but you got to want it changed. So get to my next seminar. I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you guys. I'll see you next week. I'll have longer to talk, but I got to go talk to Senator, go to dinner with Senator Chad McMahon. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next week.